one second eh? I don't have time to look through the one you just sent. Your mom just sent me the um, your your answers lah. So, oh yeah, she forgot to send it like yesterday because we <laughs> went out. Oh, you went out. Okay. Yeah. So um, we will run through the work for today lah. Is it okay? Okay. Then the other one, I will, if I have time today, if I can look through now, I will look through, but I doubt so lah. So let me see. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna try this one, alright? Can we do? Maybe we don't do all. Then the rest that you don't do, you do as homework, can? Okay. Yeah, you try A, D. This is too easy. Like A, D first. Okay. Um, A is uh eleven. Uh huh. And D. And D is 11. Okay, well done. Okay, that means you're okay. Yeah? With that, you can do mentally. All right, can we do the... Okay, I will take. Eh? K, L, M, and this. We do the last six. Lah. You can do mentally, you do mentally. If not... Uh, you can do by yeah. Is negative two. Negative two. Okay, well done. What about uh, L? Alice? Um, actually, can I have help on this? Okay, can I see what you have done? Is it okay? Yeah. You, you just show me, you just show me your... Okay. On the right, is it? Uh, yeah. Is this L? Wait. Oh, no, this... Oh, you have done the rest, ah. Huh? L is okay. What's your L? Answer for L? Um, 2x equals 0, but I don't know what x is. Okay, so x must be equal to 0. Oh, okay. okay but, I mean, let's say now you have, you have 10 persons, they have 0 brains. So how much does one person have? Uh, zero. Brains, 0 also. So is that, an, uh, is that the question, the same question you're asking for help or? Uh, no. No, okay. Your answer for M, have you done the rest? Yes. Uh, no, not yet. Which one are you asking me? Eh? Let me see. I, 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 oh, I was asking for L because I didn't know what X was. Then you explained it to me. Then I understand. So so it's okay. But it's a different... Um, hold on. It's a different working. Um, I just want to look at the working. Okay, this one, right? This is Oh, L. that one is uh, from another thing. Oh, okay, 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 okay. All right. So that's okay. Eh? L is okay, right? Yeah. Okay, we move on to the next one. Okay, you can... M and O and P.
Are you okay, Akila? Yeah, I'm going on to N. Okay, what's your answer for M? Uh, negative 13. Okay, good. Okay, all right. Your answer for N? Uh, nine. Nine? Yeah. Let me see. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, correct. So now we are at O and P, yeah? Okay, lah. Uh, not yet. I'm on the last step. Okay. For O is the answer one out of ten. One out of ten. Can I see your working please? Can I see it? Okay, just a moment. Huh? You have done P also, right? Yeah. Okay, thank you. All right, I'm gonna look at your O first. You can see your, your screen? Yeah. Okay. So how do you get one from here? Oh, you're going to divide straight. Yeah. How? I'm just curious. You use your calculator or how? Uh, yeah. Okay. What do you do? Okay. Down here, this step, this step now. So can you combine this? How much is this? Uh, negative one, three, five. And then you divide by? By four. You got that. Are you sure? Can you try again? See, will you get the same thing? Oh, sorry, my calculator was in the wrong mode. Ah, okay. All right. Be careful, eh? Uh, negative 2 out of 5. Yes, negative. So down here, is this is negative 5 out of 5, right? 1 can be 5 or 5, 3 or 4. So 5 plus 3, negative, oops, negative 8, right? You get negative 8, right? Mm -hmm. So when you divide it by 4, like times 1 quarter, you will get balance two down here lah. so negative two over five okay eh? let me see the last one i have not done the last one this is your your working right okay yeah 5.6 okay well done well done so more or less you are quite okay lah. you are quite all right okay with your were you okay last year you were okay right yeah this this level you are still okay right so yeah. we move to the next one 
we try A, we try D. You can do mentally, do mentally. If not, then you do on paper. Lah. Uh, for A is X equals to 25. Well done. B, D, D. Uh, x equals to 5. Well done, well done. Okay, now we do F, G, H. Sorry, sorry. Okay, la, okay, are you okay? Have you gotten your answer for F? Uh, yeah, is it negative 6? Okay, well done. You're doing G, is it? Yeah. Okay. Is G the answer 1.75? Well then, what about H? Uh, negative 2. Negative 2. Huh? Just a moment, just a moment. Yes, well done. Well done. So you're all quite all right. Okay, maybe we try L and M.
equals, I mean, x, x equals to negative five. Okay, well then, m. Have we done m? Oh, uh, not yet. Not yet. Okay. Was l difficult for you? Oh, uh, no. Uh, for m is x equals to one out of five. One out of five. Okay. Can I have a look at your questions? Okay. Thank you. This is your working, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now 3x plus 3, well done. Okay, then 8x down here, this becomes minus when you times it out, it becomes minus 2, right? So minus 2, when you bring over, it becomes okay. What do you do? Uh, Let's see, okay, down here. Okay, so far, let me mark this part. Eh? Okay, this is okay here. Oh, you're going to bring three over that side. You know, for me, I find it, bring it the other way around, it's easier. What do I mean? I bring the, I'm just suggesting, okay, you don't need to follow this. This method is okay. Not a problem. But for me, it's a little bit confusing. I would rather bring the uh, three over, sorry, the three the x over here. So get eight x minus three x. Okay, but just let me see here. Yeah? Let me see. Hold on. Whether do you get it right or not? Hold on. You bring over there. Why mine now? There, where you get this minus? Uh? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This part. Uh, let me. Let me check. Uh? Come. Can you see? Uh, you follow me? Eight times x. Eight x. Correct. Yeah. Now why is there a double minus here? Because eight times negative one point uh one over four, is like this. No. Right, 8 times 1 over 4, and this is negative, right? Mm -hmm. So you can say you get negative 2, but it's out of the bracket. There's no more brackets already. So this is negative 2. Do, 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 do you get it? Yeah. Yes, right. Because this is minus, this is plus, right? So your mm -hmm. your final, that thing will be a minus. So down here will be a minus. So this mm -hmm. is where I think uh, where you went wrong. Lah. So basically, if you bring this 2 over that side, it becomes plus 2. So this sum becomes 5. 3 plus 2 is 5. Then when you bring my 3x over here, it becomes minus 3x. 8x minus 3x is 5x. So x equals to 1. Are you okay? Yeah. Notice what I do. I want to make life easy for myself. If I were to bring the 8x down there, it becomes minus 8x. It is more difficult to compute for me for me and for me so i would rather bring the 3x there 8x minus 3x 5x immediately and then uh minus two i bring over there become plus five rather than yeah but not a problem and eh? not a problem but you 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 know your error eh? yes mm -hmm. okay 
So we move back to this one. Um, we do one last one here. In case like, in case, uh, I'm assuming so far you have no issues at all. Is this the first time you're having tuition for uh, maths at secondary oh, level? No. no. Yeah. So when when do you have your other maths? Or are you still having the other maths tuition? No. Why not? Uh, because my mom thought that it wasn't like... Helping uh, you? Yeah. Okay, but was it helping you? Only like a bit, but it didn't improve my grades a lot. But do you understand what, what they were teaching? Yeah. It's a group group tuition, is it? Uh single. Single. Okay. So I'm sorry, uh do M and P or No just no just P. You have done M already. You've done M. Just now was M, right? Oh uh, yeah. Okay, so we are just doing P. Uh, is P seven out of sixteen? Okay, well done. All right, the next part is going to really be the the real test. Here we go. Huh? You go through part by part. If you can do mentally, great. If you cannot do, it's okay. Okay, you got to use paper and paper pencil no problem. Can you try this first one? You can do mentally now. equals to 18. Well done. Okay. How do you do this? Eh? You use calculator, is it? 3 divided by 1 over 6. Do you yeah. <laughs> okay. Come, I'm going to show you the seesaw method. Okay. Seesaw method, by looking at it, you can know the answer. So let's say now you have, you know the x is up here, right? Do you know that the x mm -hmm. is up here? Yes, right. Now, this is like 3 over 1. You can move the 6 up or down here. Once you move, it's 3 times 6, 18. Finish. Can you see that? Are you confused by this? Like Have a you, bit. A bit. Eh? Yeah. Okay. This, the numbers, okay, this is the fast way of doing it, okay? The numbers down front and bottom can go up on the other side. This is like going up a seesaw. This X can even come down here. You can keep pushing numbers around. 
Okay, never mind. We will try. We see whether you can. I'm teaching you the faster method, like if you want to, if you want to. If you want slower method, no problem. Slower method is like this: times six over one. Then, if you times six on the left side because you want to get rid of one six, you must also times six on the right side. So, so become eighteen. <laughs> can see? Can ah? Huh? Okay. Just hold on. Ah, huh? clear the page. Okay, this one. Can play see some method? Uh, Mentally, yeah. can play. Okay, can push the five over their side, that side, it becomes what? Push the five that side, it becomes? Uh, 20. 20, good. And now, can you push the two down here? Oh, uh, yeah. So, what do you get, final answer? Uh, 10. Yes. Are you okay with that? Are you comfortable with that? Okay. Can, huh? So, you know how to play see so, huh? Do you actually play see saw? Uh, do you go to the playground last time? Uh, no. <laughs> are you the only child? Are you the only child? I'm yes, not. you're not. You have a sibling or siblings? Uh, older sibling. One. Yeah. Can you cycle? No. My parents didn't focus on the physical activities. It's all the mental activities. Okay. Yeah. Okay, this one you you you, yeah you do your you do your method lah. You do your method for C and D. Let us see. C and D, yeah? You try. Is the answer 16? Well done. Can you try D, please? You okay? Uh, yeah, just figuring this out. Okay, is the answer eight? Yes. Now you use a calculator, is it? You actually, use calculator. Wrote it. actually wrote it down. I'll write it down. Okay. Um, we let us, uh, okay, you follow me, all right? Minus one, you bring over there, become plus one. So on the right side, it becomes... Here, here. What? Minus one, you bring over to that side. It becomes plus one, right? So yeah. the right-hand side becomes? Three. Three, yeah. I'm going to put it as three over one, okay? Is that okay with you? Okay. Okay, now we have down here like this, right? Okay, so we push now three over here. We push eight over here. Three and three can cancel. You're left with eight. Answer is eight. Is this fast? Very fast, right? So the seesaw method has a very fast... Uh, well, but it's up to you, okay? I'm not going to force you. If you come to it, your method works great. Let us go to more difficult ones. Okay. Let's try question G. You see, I'm doing seesaw method in my mind. I got the answer already. What's your answer?
Are you okay? Uh, is the answer x equals to 10 out of 3? Let me have a look at your, your... Can I have a look? Uh, 10, okay, just hold on, hold on. Eh? Good move, eh? How can we get minus? Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. Ah, okay, I found your mistake. Okay, come, come. I'm going to show you a mistake, okay? Yes, uh, just a moment. Uh. Wait, how do I? When you bring over the, the, the four fifth, is it? Mm -hmm. It becomes minus four fifth, right? So one hole, one hole, what is one hole? It's five out of five, what? Mm -hmm. Is it negative also? Okay, okay, I got to show you, I got to show you, I got to show you. Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, down here. Because as I was, uh, okay, now down here. You you brought the four fifth x become minus four fifth x. So this now, this is one x right? One x right? One x is like five out of five x. You know, do you agree? Mm -hmm. One can be five five. So five out of five minus four or five. What do you get? Oh, one out of five. Ah, but yours is one four five. Okay, not now. You go in plus. You go, you plus the thing. So this is where the issue now becomes. So I write for you down here. What? Oh. oh. Hold on, eh? So at the end you have we do see source straight okay from here, right? Okay. The x is sorry, the that's five, huh? Below it's five, right? Huh? Equals to negative six. Okay. Can you see saw it? So uh, x equals to yeah. five, four, three, two. Wait, what? Um <laughs> down here, down here. This one. We uh -huh. want it to bring it over that side. So six times five equals to 30. Minus 30. Are you confused? A bit. You're, you're okay. So you're not comfortable with this. No problem. No problem. You're not comfortable with this. Okay. I am now going to do the, the longer part method. Okay. Once you become comfortable, you can you can shift into uh, this one over here. So this one over five. Seesaw method says like this. You are playing a seesaw. Now the seesaw can go down. This is slide. Huh? And it can go down down here, but you can also climb up. Okay, this is equal sign. Down here, there's one, the numerator, denominator. Equal sign in between, numerator, denominator. They can move up and down, up and down. This, you know, is being multiplied, right? Four fifth mm -hmm. times x. So you can break it up. Four fifth can go, let's say four can go down. Because the four is here, right? The five is here. This x, right? So we, we, we stick the x to down here. Let's see, for example. But but okay, you cannot have anything over here. It must be it must be in this form. One fraction to another fraction. Okay, if you're confused by this, never mind. You use your own method. Okay, but the method that you are using is actually something like that. You times by five to get rid of the one fifth. You must also times five here, which means it's 30. Lah. Are we okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. Huh? If you are confused, please tell me. I do not want you to be confusing you. Then you say the first tutor is okay. The second tutor confuses me. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have a problem. Huh? Okay. We try now. H. You got to be able to master the manipulations here before we go to problem sums. So this is your last stop before problem sums. Because you can see this is an equation, right? And problem sums are all equations. You want to find the value of x. So when are you going to learn how to cycle? Uh, not sure. Because my mom also doesn't know how to cycle. So ah, like... Are you sure? Your mom is so athletic. And then, uh, Okay. Your dad knows how to cycle? Uh, yeah, he does.
Are you okay, Akila? Uh, yeah, I'm working on it. Uh, is x equals to negative 7? Negative 7. Could I have a look at... Oh, yeah, yeah. Negative 7. Hold on. I put on 7. I made a mistake. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes. Well done. Well done. Um, yeah. Well done. You, you are not confused, eh? No. Okay, great, great, great. So, now, so, what I've been doing, if you notice, I've been... This is from the Sec 1 text uh, workbook. So I've been trying to see which part of uh, right from the beginning of algebra, are you okay or not? This is the last stop. This is equations. So this is where it gets challenging. If you have no issues with this, once we go to problem sums, you are able to visualize, you'll be able to, you'll be able to even get a perfect score. So this is where I need to go through slowly. Lah, okay. So you try now the next one. Do you always use your calculator for calculations? Uh, sometimes. Like if it's easy, then I do mental. Okay, great. Is x equals to 18? Yes, well done. Okay, well done, well done. Okay, we need to, this time we need to slow down. I, I can't jump huh, because there are differentiation, uh, there's differentiation in the types of questions. So we try this one.
is x equals to negative four one half. Um, can you show me? Show me. Show me. Okay, thank you. Okay, actually this part you should be, you gotta be clear lah. Once you're clear, that's it. If not, we have to do this side again and see eh. Okay, is this a question here? Yes, right? Yeah. This one eh? okay. Okay, half x minus half. Okay, well done. Let me just indicate this. Eh? Okay, this is correct. You brought a four over, so minus four. So minus four and a half, which is minus nine and a Down here now. Six, you see, you have six, this part down here. You're reaching the energy. Six over 10 minus five over 10. Is it equals to one? Yes, the top is equals to one, but it's one tenth. Correct or not? Mm -hmm. This is not x, you know, it's one ten of an x. So that means there's still, it's like x over 10 lah. Uh, something like that. You know, you put one on here, it's like one x over 10. So now you got to bring it over. You know how to get rid of it, right? You can times by 10 here. So you times your answer here by 10. Lah. So you get negative 45. How? Okay. Okay, yeah. All right, let's see now. So we try K now. Oh, uh, Akila, are you okay? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, is x equals to negative 4.8? Then I have a look at your... You're doing K, right? You're doing K, eh? Yeah. Okay, can I see your... Okay, 
this is one, right? Yeah. Okay, so you converted it to... Okay, once you put 0 0.3 down here, you have really rounded, or, or you put a dot on top. Okay, okay. Why don't you want to leave it as uh, fractions? You are not comfortable. Yeah. Oh, you don't like fractions. Okay, but you must remember there's a dot down here. Okay, you have put a dot. Okay, so this is okay. This one down here, I think the conversion is not correct. Lah. Oh, you have brought it over there. Also, oh, half fractions, half that thing. I see. Okay, so you brought it over here. Okay, this is okay. This one now. Then what happened to the dot? You see, this one down here is 0 0.3333333. There's no end to the 3, you know, right? Then you plus by 0 0.5, right? So you will get 0 0.8333333333. Am I correct? So you must put like this as 0 0.83 with a dot on top of the 3. But just let me check first, okay? You bring us over. So it has to be like that. Lah. With a dot. Lah. Mm -hmm. You know there's a difference, right? There's a difference. Huh? So down here, you can do by fractions. What? But it's okay. If you want to do by that way, no problem. Let me see. Okay, minus 1 over 6. Uh -huh, okay. This goes to this. The problem there, you actually the answer is supposed to be five. Because negative and negative. This is negative, right? This is mm -hmm. negative, right? Mm -hmm. You take a negative number, you times it, it becomes positive. So down here it still is negative, you know. Once you there's no there's no positive negative sign here because okay, maybe I'm confusing you. Down here, do you notice there's negative and negative? Yeah. You're going to divide x by negative, let's say now this this now, minus 1 over 6. Huh? You divide it by negative 1 over 6. This negative and this negative makes it positive. But it's because you did not do this thing down here. You don't believe you tried. Okay, can you try now? Minus 0 0.833333 until the end of the calculator times 6. What do you get? Do you get five? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You get five? Yeah. Ah, so notice your answer is actually because your answer became like that because you rounded off to the nearest one decimal place down here. Some at first down here you did not you put a dot, but when you converted here, you forgot about the second. And there's not a second place, there's third, fourth, fifth, right until the end. So this thing is the real difference now. You know what I mean? You may say, but it's mm -hmm. only 4.8. Imagine this is a million dollars. And you're going to lose 200,000, you know. If let's say, so down here, my suggestion is, you could have done, because down here, you got no problem with fractions here. So you, why don't you make it one third over here? Negative one third. And then down here is negative half, right? Uh, negative mm -hmm. half, right? Because you're going to 1 times 2 get half, right? When you bring over, you make it over 6, uh, same thing. You can do what? 6 over here. So it's minus 3 plus 4. You get negative 5 over 6. Can you just try 5 divided by 6 on your calculator? What do you get? I think you'll get negative uh, 0 0.8333333. Am I correct? Yeah. So you got to be careful with that. Eh? You got to be careful with that. Sometimes it's better to do in fractions because you don't lose the value. Okay. Eh? Okay. Can we try? Okay. What I'll give you for homework. Eh? What? Okay. So I'm just going to show you. You you do this pages. Lah. This one page at least. If you can do the second one, great. But. Oh, no, no, no. I'll give you the two pages plus this one. Then the next lesson, we'll go into problem sums with you. Okay. okay so, so today, we, I'll just give you two pages of, of homework. I don't mind. Can you try now question number B? Lah.
Akhau, Akila. Oh, yeah, I'm doing it. I need help for this. Okay. Can you show me what you have done so far? So that I can see your train of thought. It's on the... Sorry, sorry. Hold on, hold on. It's on the right, right? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Ah, hold on. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Okay. All right, this is the one. Right? Oh, this is the one, right? Yeah. Okay, so let us see now. Um, okay, let me take up my pen. Okay, good. Huh? You have, make them share the same denominator. But what, you have three, right? How do you get from one to three? You times by five, uh, times by three, right? So this yeah. one, do you tell, is this 15? Yeah, 15. Okay, well done. And what number is here? It's four, or is it X or not? Down here, how come you get four X? This X, you know, down here. Uh -huh. You see, this is X. X means one X, you know. But suddenly you have four X. There's some magic happening. Uh -huh. Correct? Uh -huh. So, 15 so X minus one X uh, equals to 14 X here. This is supposed to be 14x. So everything is all okay. This is all okay. So this is supposed to be 14x. You're okay. You're doing okay. Just take 1, 2, 6 divided by 14. What do you get? You use your calculator now? Uh, 9. 9. Are you okay? You know, uh, this, so be careful. Okay, it's called a transfer error. You are doing okay. Akila, you're doing okay. You, you be confident yourself, okay? Don't worry. Even if the answer is a decimal, you must confidently say, yeah, my answer is decimal. Yeah, don't, don't think that you're wrong. Lah. Okay, let's move on to question C. Sorry, yeah, sorry, yeah. Just let me check which one. Okay,
Uh, is x equals five out of nine? Five out of nine. Okay, can I have a look at your? All right, thank you. This time the book answer might be wrong this time. So let us see. Yeah? Or oh, I might be wrong. This is the one. So this is yeah. okay. So how do you do? Let's see. All right. So let's see now. Everything okay. On this side, actually, is it nine or is it? Okay, let me just see. Yeah. Correct, correct, correct. Just one moment. Eh? Whoa, okay. So, yeah. Your answer, what's your final answer? You know, uh, you're not sure, is it? Yeah. I stopped at five out of nine because okay, I didn't know what to you, you, do. You bring the 14. Okay, what you can do down here, you want to get rid of nine over 14. So far, mm -hmm. it's correct now. You times by 14 over nine. You see, when you times by the opposite number, let's say you, it's half x, you want to get rid of the half x. You times by two over one. It's the opposite, right? So down here mm -hmm. now, nine over 14, I want to get rid of it. I times by 14 over 9. Why? Because I can cancel, cancel, I get 1. I can cancel, I can cancel, I get 1. Can you see now? So in this case, I must times by 14 over 9 too. Can you try? 14 divided by 9 times 5, what do you get? I got 7, 7 of 9. Yes, that's the answer. So uh, are you okay? Okay, you, you don't yeah. need to use don't need to use the seesaw method. Uh, maybe you use this method down here better. Times by you want to get rid of this, you times by the opposite number, you must do the same to the other side. Okay? It's clearer, okay. right? Okay, now we do one last question. Our time over is the hold on. Eh? Can you try question D?
Stanza 72. Okay, well done. Well done. Okay, so I just want to highlight to you we, that I'm going to pass this to you as homework. You just do this page, number the whole number two. You don't need to do the first four. Lah. Okay, you can start from EF, right, and third, and then there's quest, uh, question three, the whole of question three. And then if you are able to have no, but you have to yeah show the working and whatnot. Mm -hmm. If there's no issues, we can go straight to problem sums, which actually means that this part, you have no issues at all so that's that's very good you're just one more step from the the the, the key mastery area because for sec one sec two maths the algebra algebra got to be is, is cause so you got to cleanse that part so okay are you have any questions for me not no no hopefully before next week have you started school not yet right started already uh, yeah next monday but it's hbl yeah okay. oh hbl okay all right, then I'll see you next week and uh, do do get your mom to send me the answers by Tuesday again. Okay. Okay. Bye -bye. All right. Bye-bye.